Okay, uh, we do have a form. Um, it is after uh, 6.02 right now. I'll go ahead and call, uh, go ahead and call this evening's meeting of the Board of Zoning Appeals for the City of Florence to order. First item on this evening's agenda, um, we would like to welcome our new member, uh, Miriam. Miriam. James, thank Jay. you. Well, we'd like to uh, welcome you to the board. And um, to the board. Okay, next in my item on this uh, evening's agenda is approval of the minutes from our last uh, meeting held on April 28th. 2022 meeting minutes uh, that have been submitted to the board. Um, are there any changes or amendments to the uh, minutes from the members of the board at this time? Mr. Chairman, I so move we accept the minutes. Yes, Is there a second? Second. All in fa favor signify by, by, by saying aye. 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 Uh, the ayes have it. The motion carries. The minutes are approved. Uh, next item on this evening's agenda is BZA-2022-07, which will be a request for variance for an accessory building and fence at the house located at 1724 Progress Street in the NC-15 zoning district, shown as tax map number 90. 030-03-060 and the owner the owner of record is a Billy and Antoinette Addison and the applicant applicant will be a Annette Addison zoning district will be neighborhood conservation dash 15 um, the board will now hear from city staff all right thank you all good evening everybody so the owner is requesting a variance for the size of the accessory building and also the height and transparency of uh, the fence in the front yard uh, of the house proposed to be constructed. So this is the vicinity map. Uh, this is also off of Bellevue Drive, which is off of Second Loop Road, 1724 Progress Street. Uh, here's the location map. The lot is almost 40,000 square feet in size. So compared to those in the vicinity, it's, it's basically a double lot. Um, and you can see from the aerial, there is an existing uh, 384 square foot detached garage, which is currently in compliance with the codes. Uh, this is zoned NC15, as is pretty much everything else around it. There is some uh, agricultural rural farmland actually behind this, this parcel. And future land use is neighborhood conservation. So here are some site photos of the home. Uh, the view of the driveway on the east side, you can see the existing detached garage in the background and the view westward along Progress Street. And you can see that the, it, it is a big lot. Uh, this is the vacant west side of the property. You can see the red brick home in the background uh, that would have adequate space uh, to put the accessory building. So the Unified Development Ordinance, uh, what we'll be asking for a variance tonight is for the maximum size. Detached accessory buildings shall not cover an area that is larger than 25% of the gross floor area of the principal building. The home is about 2,000 square feet and the accessory building is proposed to be 800 square feet. So we're looking at a total of about 41% of the principal building. Uh, as far as fences, the Unified Development Ordinance sets the maximum height of fences in the front yard at four feet, and it also requires a 50% transparency, like a, like a picket fence in the front yard, instead of uh, the proposed uh, privacy fence. And anything above that height does require Board of Zoning Appeals approval. So here is an aerial photo. The accessory building will be 20 by 40, as we mentioned. The, it is no longer going to be placed in the side yard. It will be placed in the rear yard based on the new site plan that we received. Uh, the applicant would like to install a six foot composite privacy fence 
in the front yard, it will take up the entire length of the side property and then it will go uh, about halfway down Progress Street. It will be a six foot composite privacy fence uh, over the four feet permitted and without transparency. So the variance conditions that this will not be contrary to the public interest. The property is a double lot with the house placed near the eastern edge, affording considerable side yard space for construction, not available near the house, and existing detached garage. Uh, but the characteristic of the proposed accessory building and fencing is counter to the ordinance. Uh, that the spirit of the ordinance will be observed. The intent of the ordinance is to limit the scale of accessory buildings compared to the principal building and to limit the height of fences and opacity in the front yard of residentially zoned properties. Number three, that there are extraordinary and exceptional conditions. Uh, this is a double lot and it is therefore currently developed with half the density of the two adjacent lots. That these conditions do not generally apply to other property in the vicinity. This is a double lot compared to those around it and is therefore currently developed with half the density of adjacent lots. That because of these conditions, it would effectively prohibit utilization of the property, uh, requiring adherence to the specifics of the ordinance regarding accessory building size and placement and fence height and opacity would not prevent the use of the home as a single family residence. However, the owner would like additional storage space in this particular location at that particular size kept private by the proposed fence details. And finally, there will not be substantial detriment to adjacent property. And at the time, we didn't have a lot of details, but now the board has been presented uh, with a, the proposed site plan. And that does conclude staff's report. Thank you, Derek. Um, are there any questions from members of the board for city staff at this time? Yes, uh, Derek, uh, y'all placed uh, notices out, of course, as y'all sign regularly. Have there the been any complaints from any neighbors? We haven't. We haven't received any calls for this case. Okay. And that's that's left out for a period of what thirty days? Is it fifteen? It's required to be fifteen. Fifteen, yes, sir. Fifteen. Okay. But letters are sent to all the adjoining property owners. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other questions from members of the board or Derek? Thank you very much. Um, okay, uh, we will now hear from the applicant. Is, uh, uh, is the applicant, yes ma'am, the board will now hear from the applicant. You, you can come on up here so I can swear you in. You don't have to say anything. Do if, if you have anything to say? No. Uh, for us? Exactly what I okay. All right. Okay. Not a problem at all. Thank you so. Thank you so very much, ma'am. Um, okay. Thank you. Uh, there's no other questions. Uh, as I'd like to entertain. Would the chair would now entertain a motion to either approve or deny the variance request from members of the board? Is there any other discussion among the board members relating to this case before we entertain a motion to either approve or deny? You can, you can, you can speak up. Yes, sir, speak how up. far a fence is going, is going to stop at the road? Like how far away from the road is the fence going to Okay, That would be for city. It, like it looks like about halfway down Progress Street. Is that your good question? Like, yeah. com like coming into the yard. Is it going to be right at the road? Because I see there's no come. sidewalks, but it'll there's come no out. Sidewalks, will it come all the way up here? Um, we'll that imaginary line? Uh, it's like halfway. maybe six to eight feet in the corner of the road. Mm -hmm. And in the city, she is permitted to 
put it on the property line. We would just ask that it, a survey be conducted to know exactly where the continue. My only question is, we didn't um, receive any um, complaints, anything from any of your neighbors. But have you spoken to your any of your neighbors? Yes, personally? I have. Because they, they saw the we had flags and stuff up there, right? And then they saw the sign, so they asked what we were doing, and I explained to them exactly what we were doing. And they have no complaints about that. I, they didn't have any. They said, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they want to join in once it's spilled. Okay. But I didn't have any complaints from anybody. They just thought it was going to be really nice. Okay. That's my only question. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, uh, any more questions from the board? All right, there being uh, no more questions, uh, the chair will now entertain a motion to either approve or deny the variance uh, request from members of the board. I make the motion that we approve. And that variance from the terms of this ordinance would not be contrary to the public interest. We're owing to special conditions and literal enforcement of the provisions will, in an individual case, result in an unnecessary hard hardship. The property is a double lot with the house placed near the eastern edge, affording considerable side yard space for construction, not available near the house and existing, not available near the house and the existing garage. But the characteristics of the proposed accessory building and fencing are directly counter to the ordinance. Spirit of the ordinance will be observed, public safety and welfare secured, and substantial justice done. The intent of the ordinance is to limit the scale of accessory buildings compared to the principal building, and to limit the height of fences and opacity in the front yard of the residential zone property. That there are extraordinary and exceptional conditions pertaining to the double lot particular piece of property. This is a double lot and it is therefore currently developed with half the density of two adjacent lots. These conditions do not generally apply to other property in the vicinity. This is a double lot compared to those around it and is therefore currently developed with half the density of adjacent lots. That because of these conditions, the application of the ordinance to the particular piece of property would effectively prohibit or unreasonably restrict the utilization of the property as follows. Requiring ad adherence to the specifics of the ordinance regarding accessory building size and placement. And fence height and opacity would not prevent the use of the home as a single family residence. However, the owner would like additional storage space in this location kept private by the proposed fence details. There will not be substantial detriment to, pro to adjacent property or to the public good, and the character of the dis district will not be harmed by the granting of the variance. Without additional details regarding the exact location of the proposed structure and or proposed materials, it is difficult to determine the full effect on the character of the neighborhood. Uh, do we have a second? Second. Uh, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All right. Uh, the motion to grant this variance request carries. Uh, variance approved. Um, let's see. If check on anything else for this agenda. There being uh, no other item on this evening's agenda, is there any? Thing that members of the board wish to bring forward or discuss while we are here tonight. The check. <laughs> it's in the mail, Mr. Red. All right. <laughs> All right. There being none, uh, I'd uh, like to make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Amen. Do we have a second? Second. Yeah. Uh, eyes have it. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you so very much, man, for attending. <laughs>